This is a I'm going to lose my voice warning. Today's episode features a rather raspy and croaky crash. I do apologize. Cause I'm searching, I'm searching for that special play. And welcome back to Sky Factory 2.5. My name is Boom Bang Crash, you can call me Crash for short, and we are going to be busy today focusing on a mob farm. I've got some stuff done and ready, i got a platform over here, I was messing around with some different ideas, uh, but yeah, check it out, I just made a nice little, very simple roof area here, we reorganized a few things, some chests and stuff, just to get our workspace a little bit cleaner. Last episode we built all of this stuff here, which was a cobblestone generator and a crucible and an infinite water source. So that was quite a busy episode. This episode I definitely want to get the mob farm done, but maybe we'll take a look at the Tinker's Construct stuff later. So let me just drop this off. Let's get rid of this. I've got a whole bunch of stuff on me. Let's clean out my inventory. I've been experimenting with different things, but I think I think I got what it takes to make ourselves a nice little farm, I hope, at least. Uh, let's go here. Now I had an idea. Let's see, where's my, where's my, where's my tools? <clears throat> I was thinking, no, 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 we'll just do it, the, we'll do it the old fashioned way. I should have enough stuff, but I'm going to take a few more of these guys just in case. Uh, we need to build some more. So I was just thinking we'll set up over here. We'll make this the area that we're going to kill them. So that means we want to drive them off the plank. And we want to have them fall kind of right in this area. So let's just go let's just go right up here. So we are at uh, Y65, right? Yep. And I guess we'll just go up 95 just to guarantee that no matter what happens, they will die for sure. We're gonna get a heck of a view as we get up here. Where are we at now? 82, uh, over 90 for sure should kill them. But let's go to 95, that's 35 blocks. Guarantee you, nothing should survive. I hope, I don't know, there could be some powerful mobs, but uh, that should hopefully take them down. Man, our base looks pretty up here, from up here. Now, let's see, we want them to fall down there, so I think we will go this way. We'll make a nice spawn platform, two, three, like so, and that should take us right above the edge. And then we'll leave a little gap, and go around like this, and I guess we'll make it a too wide, oops, Oof, freaked me out, too wide, that should be good enough. I'm hoping. I've never done this before, so... Well, I've made mod spawners before, but I've never done it in Sky Factory. So, I don't know. We'll do some trap doors. We'll build a spawning platform in the back. And then, hopefully, they try to get to us and they'll just fall off and meet their doom. So, one more over like that. And I think maybe one like that. And then we should be able to just pull this over like so. And, oop, we're placing blocks all over the place. Like that. Let's break this block, make it nice and neat. So in theory, things should go. I'm gonna just gonna pull this back like this, and I'm gonna pull this side back as well. Let's see here. Did I get it over the right spot? I think so. I think so. Let's just do this like that, and like that. Okay, next up, let's place a Full block right here, and ooh, two like that, and then da, 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 da. what do we want to do here? We want to make a non, yeah, I guess we'll go up like that. That's where we want it. Don't want it on the spawn block, like so. Perfect. Now spiders would be able to get through. So if we do it like that, then nothing's going through. And nothing's getting out. Everything should stay contained inside of the confines of the area we want them to be in. Okay, stop placing blocks in the wrong spot, Crash. It's not helping it out. Perfect. And then we can go back over here. Be very, very careful. Nope, don't want to do that. Not that it matters. Actually, it does matter. We don't want to have any spawns on top of there. Shift around here, like so. Break the 
this block right here. Oop, that is a full block, so that means that's on the bottom. That's good though. That's perfect. Exactly what we want. We want these blocks to be on the bottom. Like that. All the way around. And then the spiders that spawn should not get through. That's the theory at least. Okay. Down over here, let's make some put some trapdoors in. So this is too wide, so boop, boop. And what's going to happen is they're going to think they can walk on here and they're going to fall to their doom. Wahahaha. And hopefully there's enough spawning and enough desire to come kill me down below. Get another one of these guys and another one of those guys like so. And let's build this out. Oops. That was a full block. Nope, oh, that's a full block. Give me that. Thank you. Thank you. Now the question I guess is really how big do we want this to be? And I'm thinking we'll probably two, three. Let's see. Let's go out a little bit. And we might have to resort to some full blocks. Maybe that's what we'll do from now on. Let's use full blocks. Oh, and it doesn't matter. Just gonna look ugly from below. Boop, boop, like that. And like that. And we're going to go the fast way down. We will just end up killing ourselves to get off of here. No need to do any ladders. Like that. It's pretty good. That's a pretty big space. Pretty happy with that. And let's just finish it off here. I'm thinking, I don't know how big it really needs to be. But that's probably good. Let's do that. Not too big because then they're going to be a bunch of mobs that aren't going to actually get off. And we're going to have to fix this here. Let's go like that. All the way back. And that doesn't matter. That shouldn't matter at all. And we'll break this guy. And bring it around like that. Okay, so that will be our lip. Nothing can spawn on this. No spiders can squeeze through. No little zombies should be able to sque squeeze through either. And nothing should be able to spawn on top of this slab. So we should have a perfect spawn platform. Now we'll just have to put a roof on. So now for the roof, I don't know. I want everything to spawn, so let's go up. Oh, that was dumb. Let's go up here. I was to place a block on top of there. <sighs> so half way, so that would be that's two, two blocks, three blocks. So let's go, let's try three. And that would be the lower side. So that works. Perfect. Again, I don't know that I need to do much. I'll probably have to enclose it just to get the light during the day, not to shine through. That should be pretty easy to take care of. Boop, like that. Break this block, because that's gonna be a full block. We don't want that. And back around to the end. Boom, all right. It's coming along. I think, I think we will want to do this as well. And that should make it darker. Yeah, that's at the bottom as well. So nothing should want to spawn on there. Mm, this is always tricky. I know how we do that. Go like this. No, can't do that. Dang it, let's go all the way around here. That's not going to work the way I thought it was. Just have to break this guy right here. Carefully get out. Boop, all the way around. Fix the hole. Anyways, I hope you guys are having a great day. Looks like I need to build a crafting bench. Hi. <laughs> what? I haven't. Oh, you have to build two. That's right. I've only built one. So funny. It's a reward for building more than one crafting bench. It's odd. Okay, there we go. Built some more, built some more. 
And I guess I'll have to do the same thing on this side. And do, 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 do. Whoop. fix that. And I'm pretty sure we won't have to light the top off either because we've picked a height that is not the spawning level. Anyways, we'll try it out, see what happens. Perfect. Now, in theory, if we close this off, we should be getting down to the dark level, the light level we're gonna need once that torch is gone. I'm hoping, I think I've got it closed off. Yeah, looks like it. Should be pitch black in here once we're done. Oopsie daisy, break you again. Nope, oh, come on now, crash. Place the right place. Dang, why is the slab, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. Why does the slab take so little time to break compared to a trap door? It's less wood, isn't it? No, maybe not. Actually, it's probably more wood. Now that I think about it, it's twice as much wood. That makes sense, it would take twice as long. It's because of all that fine detail work they've done. Okay, that is pitch black, and this OCD is gonna drive me nuts. Let's get rid of this, get rid of that. Shouldn't need any lights on top. Very dark down here. There's a little bit of light bleed down here. Let's see, let's see if we can, is there anything we can do to fix that? Let's check out the light level. So, where is it in this, this one? Boop, 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 boop. Ha <laughs> ha, deep ocean. <laughs> yeah, it looks pretty good. Yeah, I think we'll be okay. All right, so let's go, let's take a look down. Let's shift and look down. I think we'll be okay. I wonder, will um, it matter if I do this? What if I do that? Is it gonna make it darker? Yeah, it will. I guess we can do that. That's not really gonna affect anything. That improves the overall light level, it does. Makes it even more dark in here. I'll gladly take that. Try and get this as perfect as possible in the first go. I really don't want to come back up here again. And avoiding any silly mistakes at this point in time make my life easier. So I'm hoping that's tall enough. There's a little bit of light bleed coming up from below. Yeah, okay, I guess. That's it. Let's just uh, let's just see what happens. Let's pop on down. It's daytime outside. It's dark in here. We're gonna die. Ooh, respawn. No! And uh, we gotta be super quick about this because all of our guys should start falling. Give me all my stuff. Thank you. Hi. Don't give me my stuff. Fine. Thank you. Leg spike. Uh, let's uh, actually keep this all very well lit up. Guess what we can do is block this in. Hopefully that's good enough. Boop, boop. Too wide should be should be okay. Yeah, and nothing is on the outside. Wow, that's ugly. Oh, there's a creature up there already. I can see him. Hey buddy, come say hi, creeper man. Let's just close this off for now. Need to make a door. Oh, yep. That's a dead that's a dead thing. Huh. Very nice. I might actually put a, a ladder on the back side of that and make that a little bit bigger. Uh -huh. Get some more some more variation, some more dead stuff. Hopefully we're in range. Uh what do I need to do? I need to make a door. How do I make a door? No, that's definitely not the recipe for door. Oh, that's the recipe for door. Hi, wooden door. Hello. I don't make those very often. In this, at least in this series, it's been a while. Uh, da -da 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 -da. Let's go back over here. Let's break this. Put the door in place. Oh, yes. Oh, hi. 
let's uh, break that again. I want to place that in a slightly different position right here. Right there. Nice. Okay, come say hi. Might not be the most efficient during the day, but who knows? Because we are... No, it should be good. Should be okay. I wonder how many entities are up there. Does it say? There's two, four... I don't know. There's a few. I don't know how to read this display. It's a little different than the, the new... Oh, oh, hi! How's it going, buddy? Cool. Give me your stuff. That's some bones. Oh, some rains are coming. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is going to work. This is going to work really well. Let's light this up. Make sure we don't get any crazy spawns over here. Hi. Come fall to your death. Hmm. Okay. Well, we'll see what happens. I Hopefully I'm in range over here. I should be. I should be in range. I should still, should still go here. Okay. Uh, that being said, while we're waiting for those things to kind of fall from the sky and die, let's, uh, let's uh, shear this up a little bit. <laughs> Not too much. Let's get this bit of wood like this. And I think we want to grab, let's see, how do we do this? Crafting table. Well, first off, let's make a crafting table. But we have one right there. Never mind. We're going to have to make a couple, actually. Another crafting table, like so. And if we put this in here, we're going to get the crafting station. And then, is it... No. No, that's a bench. There's a way to get paper. Let's look it up. Okay, Tinker's Construct. Let's look at all the things we need to build. Curse. So I need to make a parts builder. So that is blank pattern. Okay, blank pattern is this and this and this and that. Okay, perfect. Put those here and this here. That's a tool station. Okay, we need that. Ooh, I got a new book. Look at that. And I need to do this. And what was it? This and that guy. Okay. Part builder. So we have a tool station, a part builder, a crafting station, but we also need something else. What else do we need? Crafting stencil table. Solid block. Okay. Yeah, we can do that. One of these guys. Oak planks, and there. Okay, so now we have all the bits and pieces we need for that station. Hi, come on guys, come say hi. Fall on my face. Nobody wants to play. Why you not want to play? Come a die, come a die over here. Hmm. Come see me, come play. Oh, we just read our tinker book. Okay, uh, that being s Whoa! Oh crap. Is it cheesed? I want your enderpearl. Yeah, you can't teleport anywhere. It's raining out. Oh, there he is. Oh crap. Hey, buddy. Oh, I got him! No pearls. Dang it. Man, that guy's loud. Okay, <laughs> back to what I was doing. Let's see, where should we set up our tool station? Kind of feel like we need a good spot. I don't know if I want to do it here. <laughs> Maybe we build out a little bit of a platform over here. Let's see, go this way. Two. Three. Oh, snaps! Well, we just lost all that stuff. Crap. Oh well. There's nothing I can do about it. I can fall down there and it's. Dang it, dang it, dang it, dang it. Tell me I don't have. Oh, I put the book away. Okay. 
All right, back to square one. Let's see. Need that. Oh man, lost all my trees. Um, I need some solid. Let's see, what do we got here? Give me an axe. Give me an axe for a sec. Okay. Uh, we need sticks. Sticks. Okay. Stencil paper. Stencil worker. Thank you. Get that. We're going to need this. One of those. Okay. Crafting bench times two. Okay. Okay. This guy like so. And this guy like so. And that guy. And this guy. So, let's see, we got that one. So all we need to do is cut down a tree. And we need to get uh, some of this wood. Well, that sucks, lost all my apples. Darn it, I'm gonna be hungry. Good thing we got trees. Okay, boop. There we go. Okay. Let's go try and not kill ourselves again this time. Maybe it was slippery. Yeah, that's what it was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think it's because this thing popped down on me. That's what I'm going to stick to for my story. There we go. I guess we'll just build it out here. And make a, an area. Oops. That we can take care of business and build our new tools, which I've never done before. Okay, like that. this and this okay so if we think about where we'd want to have this let's see put that there that there tool station that there and I got one more thing to put down beautiful hmm <laughs> And I think there's a stencil chest as well. Can we do that? If we take that, boop. And then this, nope, chest, like that. Nope. Like so, and so, and so. Ooh, what's that, mini chest? That's cool. A mini chest, I didn't know you can make that. Pattern chest. So now we have a pattern chest which we can store our patterns in. And I'm thinking we're going to be working on this side. We've got our infinite water there. Let's put it there. Okay, let's check these out. So I think, ooh, let's put the stencil paper in there. We're going to want to make a pickaxe head. What's this? Tool rod pattern. And a binding. Okay. Definitely the things we're going to need. And... What else do I want to... I'm going to need some flint, I believe. If I remember the book, it says we want to make tools out of flint. So in order to do that, we need to get some flint. And the best way to get flint is to make a heavy sieve. Silk mesh, heavy silk mesh. And I've done some work off cam. So let's do this real quick. Let's make ourselves a heavy sift, a sieve, heavy sieve, sorry. Sieve, sieve. Oh my god. Um, okay, there and there, and do this like so. Boop. That's three, so we need to make one, two, three, four. Oh, beauty. Just enough. Like this, like so. That's gonna, that's enough to make two, but you never know. And then I think the recipe is just this, like that. No, 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 no. It's, uh, Sorry, it's oak wood. So we need to get, need to chop down another tree. Okay, let's grab that apple. Oop. Let's do the little dance and hopefully we'll get some good stuff. Oh, that tree grew fast. Oh my goodness. Give me all your oak wood. 
Thank you. Uh, thank you. So let's try this again. Need four, which is the perfect amount. Four of these. Nope. Come on now. Two legs and two of these. Heavy oak sieve. Perfect. Okay, take you. And then we'll go place the sieve next to the heavy one right next to you. Bing. You know what we're going to do? We're going to actually expand this a little bit. Time to make our base a little safer and a little bigger. No more oak slabs. No, I have them. There they are. By the time you're done the first few hours of this game, you never want to see another oak slab again in your life. Like that. Okay. I'm going to grab that apple because, well, I'm in short supply of food. After that death. Okay. Ba -ba -ba -ba. That's done. That's done. That's done. Next up is we need to get the gravel. And the gravel, we need to get our hammers. Let's get our hammers. Let's get our cobblestone. And then let's make gravel. Let's make the Mario. Spent some time with our cobble jan doing this already. Making a whole bunch of cobblestone. Make a whole bunch of gravel. Do, do, do. As long as it's connected, that's all that matters. Let's get rid of you. Perfect. Smash! Give me my stuff. Did I break all of it? Nice! 56 gravel. Perfect. Okay, yes, don't do that. Now what we need to do is grab this, and then we compact it down, like so. Make compacted gravel. So we got six of those, and this goes so much faster. You can s see, you're basically taking whatever it was, 50 some odd blocks and turning it into, or 54 blocks, and turning it into six actions. So it's just it just speeds the whole proce process up so much quicker. And that is brilliant. Okay, so as you can see, we got a whole bunch of ores, which is great. We got some flint, which is exactly what I wanted. Now we're going to go over here. And which one is it? This one. I want to make a pickaxe. I'm going to put this in. No, no, that's the tool station. We actually have to make the parts. Where's the parts table? That's the stencil table. That's the parts table. Okay, so what I need to do is this. And put this in, and then we get a flint pickaxe head. And then I'm going to put the handle in. And the nice thing with this is you can mix and match different um, components to get... Why can't I do that? Oh, there we go. Take that out. Thank you. So now those are the three pieces I need to make a pickaxe. Like so. And tool assembly station here. That, that... For some reason, it puts it in the bottom. And that. And ba-da! We have our very, very first tool. Nice! Let's go test it out on this cobblestone. Works great. Yep. So that's how a Tinker's Construct works. You basically make a stencil. You get some materials. You make parts. And then you assemble the parts. And you can do all kinds of different combinations for different effects. If I take a look at this tool here, you can see it's got uh, skill level clumsy. That upgrades as you use it, so you can see the EXP goes up and the repair uh, durability goes up, mining speed, plus you get some modifiers and other things you can attach to it. Anyways guys, this is a running long. I just want to say thank you so much for watching the episode. If you liked it, make sure to bang on that like button down below, crash that subscribe button, and as always, love to hear from you in the comments down below. My name is Crash, and I'm out. Thank you.